Hey guys, thank you very much for your support on my work on Gravity. I really appreciate it. Here is a short tutorial to show you how I made this wig. The idea is that you should think that every particle should act like a spring. So let's get started. For this tutorial, we'll use a simple sphere as the emitter object. First, let's arrange a bit the workspace. In the particles properties, let's add a particle system and click on here as the particles type. We'll enable advanced option and let's use one particle first. In the children section, let's use the simple with one display amount. In the kink section, let's choose the curl method. The children grow in a spiral around the parent's hairs. As we want to make it act like a spring, the frequency controls the number of rotations. It's a bit like the iterations in the screw modifier. We can see the result now, because we need more resolutions. In the viewport display section, let's increase the strand steps. It's like the step settings in the screw modifier. The value of 10 is good. The amplitude controls the size of the offset. We can control the hair length here, but this option is not really enough when we'll set up the direction of the children. Let's leave it there for now. For our scene, we want the particles follow the y-axis, so in the velocity section, Let's add some values on y-axis object aligned. Now, here is the trick I never knew before. I was so surprised to find it. In the integration section, inside the physics tab, the time steps gives more control for the length of the hair. It's like the screw option in the screw modifier. Super really cool! I gave the hair uniform shape size. I made the root and tip diameters equal. Now I disable the emitter in the viewport and render. Afterwards, we need to give it more randomness, so we can play with these parameters in the roughness section. It really depends on your taste, keep exploring. We increase the number of particle strands. Now for the material. We use the principal hair PSTF.
the shader's color parameterization is set to melanin concentration. We leave the melanin redness to zero, and the melanin with a value of one gives black hair, and the value of zero gives white hair. So we want not completely white hair, a value around 0.2 could work fine. Cool, cool. cool. Then, we need to add more randomness to make it look natural. To do that, let's duplicate the current particle system and decrease the root and tip diameters. And let's play again with the roughness settings. And that's it! This is the shape I used for the emitter object. I used free particle systems to make the randomness. Finally, these are experimentations and fails I had before finding the best settings. My error was that I always thought that the spiral kink method should work fine. Unfortunately, no. When I decided to change my point of view, I finally found that the curl method gave the best result. That's it guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. I hope many 3D Barrack wigs will fill the social networks soon. Please do not like, do not share, do not subscribe, I'm just passing by. Hey, it was a joke guys. See you.